For over 20 years, Jesus Santiago was a wanted man. He sang about political freedom and the struggle for liberty. When President Marcos declared martial law 40 years ago, songs such as this were outlawed. People were hungry for songs that reflected their reality back then. That's why it was easy for them to understand and relate to what I wrote. I heard as of midnight. President Marcos's declaration of martial law was followed by 14 years of absolute rule. His regime ended in 1986, when he was forced out by what is now known as the People Power Revolution. Corazon Aquino, the widow of the murdered opposition leader Benigno Aquino, succeeded Marcos. This martial law museum is a testament to those who were tortured, jailed, and killed under the Marcos regime. And after 26 years since President Marcos was forcibly removed from office, these victims and their families still continue to wait for compensation from the Philippine government. Legislation for compensation has been tied up in the courts with little political will to move the process along. Of course, it's continuing injustice. It reflects the state's inability or unwillingness to compensate the victims as mandated by law. The patriarch is long gone, but the victims of his brutal rule are still reminded of his oppressive legacy. His body displayed in a mausoleum, his family back in power. Marcos's widow, Imelda, is now a congresswoman and their daughter, a governor in their home province. Their son, Bongbong, is in the Senate, rumored to be planning a run for the presidency. Despite that, Jesus feels people suffering during martial law was not in vain. He continues to sing about freedom, of a bird free to soar to greater heights, even when the wind is against it. Chamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.